All right, this one is on compiling FFmpeg and X264, which is codex uh, that you probably want uh, because by default on Ubuntu they do not have any proprietary stuff, and that sucks. Uh, so this guy right here, made by uh, Fig Outdoorsman, big props. He has it all laid out. Don't try to deviate from the plan, okay? <laughs> Don't do that. But uh, this one works on um, uh, this guide here. It works on. Um, uh, karmic, uh, jaunty, and intrepid. So you can follow it if you have one of those. Okay, so let's let's follow this. Okay. Uh, first one, copy and paste. You know, just just copy and paste. That's all you gotta do. To your terminal. Run it. Yes. Confirm. done with that now let's go number two it says update so we're gonna do an update paste that in and let's copy number let's copy that one paste that sucker in which I already installed anyways but uh, you get the idea and then uh, we go down to here uh, number three for installing X264 uh, just use this uh, second one first uh, the git command so we're gonna copy that basically it's just gonna download the files um, so we can compile it <coughs> alright so I made the file um, now we have to CD into it to the folder Okay. So we're gonna do that, and we can see that you're in uh, the X264 folder right there, right? Now we're gonna configure it. So we're gonna type uh, dot configure down there, and this d don't try to change anything. You're gonna get fucked up, okay? I try to change it, don't do anything. Just leave it, and just type in make, okay? So make. And it's gonna do the matrix here with all this compiling crap. <coughs> That's all you really gotta do. Um, so we'll wait. Oop -a -doop -a -doop. Oh man, what the hell? Okay, it's done with that. Now we have to uh, do a sudo check install, and and this will basically, uh, you know, installs it for you. There you go. It's done. It has it has created a uh, dev file also for you if you want to go and install it manually, but it's already installed for you uh, with that command. Now let's go to uh, the FFmpeg. So we're gonna CD backwards, okay? CD. So back to our home folder, okay? Not in uh, the X264 no more. And then we're gonna copy uh, this one, the SVN thing, and I'll paste that. Basically, this will download FFmpeg. Um, I guess the source code or something. <clears throat> and uh, done with that now we're going to cd into the ffmpeg folder so basically just copy and pasting not that hard and this is uh, the compiling part right so this is uh, basically all the the codex we want I guess because it has the, the xlib and all that so paste that in and hit enter and it should take a while for this one. Oh, there you go that's it's pretty quick that one and then we're gonna do a make which they said here make right and this one should take a, a while so I, I'll pause it here and I'll get back to you because it's, it's just gonna be the matrix string here that's all you're gonna see if I can see 
Uh, it should take like a couple of minutes, maybe uh, four or five minutes, I think. But I'll be back. All right, we're back, and um, I think that took about like five minutes. Um, so it's done here. We just did the make. Now we're gonna do a uh, pseudo check install for FFmpeg. Okay, so FFmpeg. We're gonna do the last one now, and just copy the last one. Let's see here. Okay, and I'll paste it in. And basically, this will check it and then install it also. Um, that's all it's gonna do. Uh, sh this one should take a. Uh, it should be faster than uh, the other one. I hoped. Oh, there we go. It's almost done. So it's building the deb package here. <clears throat> hmm. Installing, okay. And that is it. That's how you would install um, FFmpeg and X2.64. Now, it's already been installed for you, but if you want to go check out the dev if you like to save it for later, it's actually in your folder. Um, show you. So you have uh, these two folders that you've downloaded the FFmpeg and um, what was it, the X2. something, right? Oh, the hell? oh, there you go. X two. That's six four. So they actually made these for you. The the dev files here, and the other one is uh, the ffmpeg, which uh, they made that one for you too. But it's already installed, so you don't have to install it here. But I'm just saying, if you want to save it, uh, you can save it. Okay. Uh, so that's it to uh, compile your own ffmpeg without the restrictions that Ubuntu has put in for you. <clears throat> uh, so that's it and all you gotta do is follow this guide here. I'll post it on the side. This is the shits if you want um, you know the, the FFMPEG without any restrictions. Uh, so that's it for this one.